that shit off. Okay, great. Poppy's playtime. Poppy playtime. Chapter 1, A Tight Squeeze. As an ex-employee of Playtime Company, you finally return to the factory many years after everybody within disappeared. So everyone just fucking dipped. You are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Cool. Hard to believe. Just watch. Ooh. Poppy's as lovable as a real girl, and she talks like one too. My name is these these nuts. <laughs> Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. I love you Can too. You help me polish my shoes. Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it. And smells just like a poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. Just like you. I'm Watch not a girl. Time. Playtime! And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a person. That's... An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. Ugh, that looks weird. What are weird. you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can't... I'm gonna guess we took a factory tour. Everyone thinks the staff disappeared 10 years ago. We're still here. Find the flower. Vintage poppy commercial. One ticket, please. Two ninety nine is very affordable. Actually, this is the fifties, or it looks like the fucking fifties, sixties. That seems kind of expensive. I paid two ninety nine for this. Looks like a fucking crack den. I'm kidding. I know it's abandoned. Well, apparently it is. Welcome center. Poppy wants to play. Eat and interact. You think I could just guess this and speed run it? Ah, oh, fuck this. It's not gonna work. I tried. It's not gonna work. Eat healthy like brawn. A daily intake of 4,000 calories? You get that chat? It's Bron the Brontosaurus. Oh, that's awesome. This place is closed? The Boogie Bot. Pog. Candy Cat. Well, that looks bloody to me. I like the little train. I wonder why that, if that has any relevance to anything, or it's just cool looking. There's four different colored tiles on the ground. Do you really believe that's what it is? Could it possibly be, oh, something broke out. Could it possibly just be blue, yellow, red? Could it possibly be that simple? The colors of this train. You know, I gotta say, if the security measure were literally based off of the train colors, I would not work at this fucking company. Blue, green, pink, yellow, red. Blue, green, pink, yellow, red. Blue, green, pink, yellow, red. No? I... Th I mean, I'm kind of relieved on one hand, because that would have been a fucking terrible security measure. On another, I actually think this might be it. I can't be this fucking bad Hi, at this shit. My name is Blake Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Oh. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. 
So, Trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. This cannot be so complicated. Why am I so fucking bad at this? Do I really need to look up a playthrough of this to fucking find out what to do? Green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. What the fuck? Whatever. Okay, we're in. Let's go. We're fucking in. Let's fucking go. Woo! -woo. Grab pack. Wow. Tighten the straps. Hold both cannons. Pull the trigger to fire. Pull it back to retract. Do not fire at co-workers. <laughs> cool. Wire's conductive. Use it for rewiring. Fuck yeah. High five! Ooh, pokes your eye. High five! Huggy Wuggy. Playtime Company has designed hundreds of distinct toys, but none connected with people more than Huggy Wuggy, our founder. Elliot Ludwig aimed to create a toy which could hug you forever, as it always as is always true. Playtime Company's four-step process to create the most lifelike toys was a success. Bit of string and polyester, our lovable blue pal was brought to life. Huggy Wuggy has gone on to be Playtime Company's most popular and best selling toy. Oh, I only have one hand? Oh, okay. What happened? I heard something fall. Why is this box open? Fuck you, man. Hug that. Haha. -ha. Puzzles. Oh. Thank you. Staff only. doing oh, that's badass what the fuck you could stretch this shit out like a rubber band that's weird what the fuck is going on what just happened did I do it I did it yeah no that was I, I know exactly what I was doing easy fucking clap what the fuck?
Candy cat. Yum. Make a friend. <gasps> I'd love to make a friend. Nobody ever wants to be mine. Stairway to hell. That's a little bit too metal sounding. Take breaks. Breaks longer than 10 minutes are not permitted. What the fuck is this? Amazon? What the fuck did I just do? Oh, I just have to find four of those things? That's what this is? That was more complex than that. I don't know what I expected. I thought there was going to be more like to it. Oh, okay. Just grab those four things, plug them in, and you're good to go. And yeah, it's by these boxes. There you go. Bullshit out of the way. Oh, come on. Bingo. All right. Plug this shit in. Get the other hand. Power that open. Gimme, gimme. Bingo. Ha ha! Danger, do not enter. We just go right on in. Wait, what am I doing? This shit too restricted or something? Oh, I didn't see these fucking posts. Wait, what difference does that make? How many of those posts are there in this bitch? And do this. Now do that. Pog. I don't. I don't know what the hell that little the the thing to like transfer the electricity through was. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I gained. Easy clap. Adopt an orphan today, fostering happiness. Nobody leaves without a toy. I want a toy. Make a friend. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, was a visionary. He set the stage for all of Playtime's greatest feats. Yet all of the amazing things that he created to make a friend machine was one of the most creative, impressive, and advanced. Solely responsible for nearly every, every Playtime company toy sold in the market to this day. All it needs to be fed, the proper parts, and it will paint, assemble, and do a quality inspection of the toy on its own. Gone is the need for complex sorting or back-breaking labor. The machine can do it all. Needs power. Fucked up. I was supposed to pull it toward me. I tried jumping and then pulling it midway through. What 
what's the point of that? Does it need to travel through these things in order for it to work? Why are these things all disconnected? Oh, what the fuck? The beams are transparent? What's happening? Ah! Oh, I'm hanging because of the wire. Oh, I can move the platform over here? I just have to move it then after I wrap. Okay, that's easy. Okay. See, like this. I have to do this. I have to pull it and then connect it and then go this way. Like this. Like that. Boom. And then I need to go to this side and pull this. Like that. Now backtrack. Go like that. And like that. What happened? Did I do it wrong? It worked for a second, then it, it like disconnected or something. What's the most efficient way to wrap this shit around? I would assume a figure eight, right? But I don't get enough distance. Wait, you don't. I did that earlier though. Okay. I swear I did that shit earlier and it. Whatever. Alright. I guess the the parts I just realized the eyes are following me look at the eyeballs in the middle what the fuck is that cool it's a bumblebee tiger thing I get it. Nobody leaves without a toy. I have to put the toy there. Right. It has to scan first. That's kind of odd. Oh, shit. Wait, wait. wait. Chill. <laughs> that actually kind of spooked me, actually. Okay, okay, okay. Danger? Oh, fucking shit. Ah! I want to apologize. I'm so sorry, dude. Oh, fuck. Ah! Where do I go? Ah! I'm fucking running into walls. Oh, I'm fucking dead. Oh, fucking shit. Ah, what do I do? Why are you so slow? Move! Am I good? Am I safe? Oh god, I'm fucking dead. What the fuck happened? Well, 
Well, I saw something at the top at the last fucking second imaginable. Literally at the last fucking second I saw it. At the... Oh... Alright, here we go. Wait, where are my hands? Wait, where are my fucking hands at? Hey! I I don't have hands. Where the fuck do the hands go? The... the... Ch -ch I don't have them anymore. Did my game glitch or something? Yeah, I didn't have these fucking things. What the fuck? Yo, that's bullshit. I got robbed. Ha! <laughs> Later, bitch! Damn, that shit actually bled too. That's gross. Did you see that? Fucking bled when it hit the pipe. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Die, Huggy, die. Flower. This is what they said to find. There's another recorder over here. Or VCR player, I mean. Final log. In relation. Experiment 1006. The prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not, end of... What the fuck is he talking... In the name of science? Dog, you make toys. What the fuck are you talking about? You make toys! So he ended up making that fucking thing. What the fuck is this? This is kind of relaxing compared to the other things. All right, that's less relaxing. There's a fucking ominous looking hallway. I don't want to open this shit, man. You opened my case. Yes. The game is called Poppy's Playtime. And I see Poppy for half a fucking second? What? Okay, that being said, the graphics and the, the sound design and that shit, it is actually, I liked it. I just, I took way too fucking long to unlock the goddamn door at the beginning. But that being said, the puzzles are, the, the concept of the puzzles is cool. Where you like channel the electricity through the hands, that's cool. That was cool. Well, there you go.
Well, there you go. Is there anything else that I need to, um... No, that's it. Okay.